Ladies, Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading from um, April the 4th until the 11th, 2017. And I am dedicating this reading to my dear friend Janet, real life 3D friend, um, who sat through countless rounds of tarot reading <laughs> over the past year. Uh, she is... Um, responsible for a lot of my soul growth and um, has supported you know my tarot reading if it wasn't for her I would not be sitting here today uh, doing these readings for all of you so Janet I love you girlfriend my beautiful soul sister whoa okay. all right so I'm using the John Holland um, Psychic Tarot for the main energy. I'm going to be doing a crystal ball. Or no, sorry, not a crystal ball. A Celtic wing. And I'm going to be using my cards for clarification. So I'll pull three cards per position. And then I may use the Osho Zen Tarot for clarification. We'll see. And I will pull um, one card from... Or sorry, two cards from the Call It Baron Reed Enchanted Map for messages from the universe. Okay, Divine Feminine, present position, triumph, this is a chariot, this is going forward with um, your dreams, making them a reality, taking the reins, taking control, and making it happen. This is a water card, so it represents emotions. Ten of uh, Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Devil. So the Ten of Pentacles is that um, arrival, it is the destination, it is um, that final resting place. It is being financially um, wealthy, like abundant, and not having to worry about money anymore. It's a sense of retirement and being able to enjoy your friends and your family. Um, the Four of Pentacles represents being closed off. Um, not letting anybody in or holding on to something too tightly. The de or sorry, the devil is um, a chain, a uh, codependent relationship or an addiction of some kind. But there's a sense of an energy in your environment that is stopping you from moving forward on your chariot. And it's a chain that needs to be released. foundation spiritual strength so you feel um, like you've connected with your inner Buddha you feel strong you feel enlightened you feel empowered spiritually and there's a sense that you can't be knocked off course and spirit is asking you to hang in there and give it that final push so this energy of moving forward towards your dreams, towards your goals, is grounded on the spiritual strength, your inner knowing, your higher calling, your higher destiny. Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is the 3D Queen, could represent an Earth sign, but it is a queen who is independent, who is, um, who doesn't need to depend on anybody for, you know, support. She is able to stand on her own. Um, she is also very generous, giving, um, spreads her seeds around for all. Um, it is also the queen that you can hold and feel in the 3D. So you are being recognized as grounding the spiritual energy. The Hermit card represents um, releasing yourself from those bonds, those conditions, those restraints of the material world. And, you know, um, finding your inner light and shining it bright for others to see. So, but there's a sense that you are very wise. And... 
um, you are offering your guidance to others. So you, although you are grounded and wealthy in the material world, like you feel abundant, it's because of the fact that you've disconnected yourself with um, material desires because of this spiritual quest that you've gone on. The king, or sorry, the Knight of Pentacles is my favorite knight. It is he arrives at his destination. Um, it is making a plan in the 3D world and carrying out that plan. So there's a sense that what I'm feeling here is that the masculine represents these two cards. There's a sense that he retreated, perhaps, to go on a, a spiritual um, quest and is now arriving. And it's all being grounded on spirituality. Recent past. Five of Pentacles. The feminine got this as an outcome, I believe, for the Twin Flame reading. So this is a feeling of being left out in the cold. Or needing to make a sacrifice in order to release yourself from something. But it is financial loss. Strength card. The Three of Pentacles. 1111 11. so it's confirmation that this reading is about a twin flame connection you've met your twin flame in the past and it caused you to feel a disconnect as a result of this spiritual quest and the strength card talks about using kindness and compassion and love to deal with the situation so you're being recognized as being loving loving and caring the three of pentacles is um the foundation being laid it is confirmation that the seed is growing in the 3d even though there's a sense of loss involved um that loss wasn't overpowering especially considering that it's a twin flame union or connection um, so, yeah, I mean, it's a minor feeling there, but it, you know, it's not such a big deal. It, the, the energy, that union is grounded in the 3D. And there's a sense that you want to move forward with it, make that 3 a 10, but you're being met with resistance. There's a devil energy stopping you. Um, so this is the outcome you desire intuition the high priestess this is you being represented as um connected to your the collective to your inner knowing um you're the you know um you're connected to your divine masculine in the 5d so this is what you desire and likely to get wheel car, or the wheel of fortune the Queen of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. So the Wheel of Fortune is is destiny. It is a when it it is a significant change in your environment that is going to turn out in your favor. It's good fortune and good luck coming towards you. So you desire a change that has to do with your inner knowing your your inner guidance system is is, is um, showing you the path to take. The Queen of Wands is that fiery, passionate woman, the Queen of Fire. Um, she is the object of desire for the masculine. Um, so there's a sense that you want to step into that power uh, and shine your light. And... Um, allow that wind or that wheel to come in and change you're you're hoping for destiny to arrive the page of pentacles is um making plans and carrying those plans out and then the night is movement so there's a sense that more work is required um this could also mean you know um taking a class or a new job, um, but just making plans um, that
that will help that destiny be fulfilled, I'm thinking. Okay, I'm going to pull an Osho card for that. I need some clarification. That was a complex grouping. This reading is very different from the Divine Masculine reading, that's for sure. You're being called to find that spiritual strength within. That one final push. Stop. Innocence. Sun. So this is the best major arcana. It's positive feels on a massive scale. It's a return to innocence. The old man in the card radiates a childlike delight in the world. There's a sense of grace surrounding him as if he is at home with himself and with what life has brought. This seems to be having a playful communication with the praying mantis on his finger as if the two of them are the greatest of friends. The pink flowers cascading around him represent a time of letting go, relaxation, and sweetness. They're, they are a response to his presence, a reflection of his own qualities. The innocence that comes from deep experience of life is childlike, but not childish. The innocence of, child, of children is beautiful, but ignorant. It will be replaced with mistrust and doubt as a child grow and learns that the world can be a dangerous and threatening place, but the innocence of life lived fully as has a quality of wisdom and acceptance of the other ever changing wonder of life. So what I'm feeling with this card is you know, returning that desire to return to that innocence, the a new beginning wanting to usher in that change and the masculine got the sun card in his present position so you know it's almost like she is also becoming the sun uh, and returning to that innocence so it, it's still a little vague for me but I kind of understand you desire change you desire your destiny to be fulfilled. Crossroads position. Sacral chakra. Where your emotions are stored. So, you know, this also represents your desires and your passions. Hangman. King of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. Once again. So you're being asked to surrender, let go of control, see things in a different perspective. Um, the King of Pentacles is the masculine in the 3D. So hmm. and the High Priestess is, you know, being connected in the 5D to your masculine. So I don't know. He, the masculine is almost like he's bringing this emotional connection and, you know, sacral chakra opening in the near future, that crossroads in the 3D. But notice how the feminine energy is turned inwards using her inner knowing and holding that space for the masculine. What are you resisting? The Four of Pentacles, Firm Foundation. So the Masculine got this as a, a summary outcome. So I'm really feeling it's a grounding energy. Although he got that Four of Pentacles in his present position here, so maybe he's re, um, resisting you know, letting that devil go, really letting go of his fears. Uh, 
uh, the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of, sorry, I'm getting that mixed up. Um, you got that. The Feminine got that in her present position, the Four of Pentacles, but the Masculine got it in his summary outcome. Yeah, okay, that made sense the first time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is the Masculine energy I'm feeling that is being closed off and stopping that chariot from moving forward. And it's turning up in your resisting position because he is resisting that, possibly. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles is um, patience, waiting for that ship to come in, waiting for him to open up. The Page of Cups is communicating your love, wanting that new beginning and wanting to express that. Um, the King of Swords, it could represent an air energy, but it represents the King um, having mental clarity and control over his emotions and cutting away the dark darkness, um, making decisions that are based on his truth. So it's a resisting position. So you're waiting for the tide to turn and for the masculine to speak his truth. Okay, internal environment, suffering and silence. So it's that mental prison, feeling, being afraid, you know, um, anxiety, staying up at night. But it, the nine represents nearing the completion of that cycle. You're turning towards the sun, seeing the bright side. Justice card, ace of cups. And nine of cups, nice. Okay, so I said it's a completion of that. So you're coming out of that mental prison and justice will be served as a result. This is balance, it is equilibrium. What you put out, you get back. And because you're releasing yourself, um, good things are coming towards you. And what is that good thing? It's the ace of cup. It's a brand new beginning of love and you are releasing the darkness, forgiving yourself and healing yourself and allowing that love to come in, being that open vessel for love. And the Nine of Cups is wish granted, emotional abundance coming towards you, Nine and Nine, completion, allowing that Ace to come forward, the new beginning. Okay, the outcome, throat chakra again. You brought this into the union, um, I'm pretty sure in the twin flame reading. Um, I can't remember what it was, but I know it's, it's, it was a, sh a union energy. So anyway, it's um, wanting to communicate your truth, wanting to have him speak his truth to you. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and Knight of Wands. So the Eight of Pentacles is positive movement forward. It is grounding the relationship in the 3D and putting work into it and continuing to work towards the future. So it's movement towards your dream, making that Ten of Pentacles a reality. Um, even better, it's making the Ten of Cups your reality. This is the hap happy ending, the happily ever after, emotional harmony, um, excitement, um, you know, all the good feels that you can ever imagine. And the Knight of Wands is that gasoline poured on the fire and boom, um, the Knight is out of the gate riding towards his future and it's a directed energy a forward motion, un, unencumbered towards your destiny, your higher calling. So there's a sense that communication will come as a result of this grounding work that you've done. And it is the knight who will arrive with this Ten of Cups. Communication. Your external environment, temptation, the devil. So there's something in your 
external environment that needs to be released. Or this could represent the masculine fighting with the devil energy. The King of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Four of Wands. King of Cups could represent a water sign, but this is the Divine Masculine um, connected to his heart chakra, um, working on releasing these, the devil, the, the chains that are holding him hostage. So I'm feeling him opening up his heart chakra, getting in touch with his emotions. The King of Cups is a very deep feeling, loving man, and his love is pure and innocent. Um, and he's an open vessel. The Three of Swords is heartbreak. Not being able to release this devil is causing him heartbreak or could cause someone else heartbreak. But this is an energy that he's dealing with. His heart is broken. And it's because he's being held back. And what is he being held back from? The Four are the 11-11 connection. This is the Four of Wands, that happy ending, the twins coming together and making their spiritual union manifest in the 3D. So it's engagement, uh, marriage, you know, buying a home, but it is an arrival card. So this is the energy that's surrounding you this need to release himself from the chain and connect with his heart so that he can feel that true love. Allow it to flow, flow freely. Summary outcome, truth, of course. The whole thing is based on truth, the judgment card. Realizing that your entire life is an illusion, it's just a movie being played on the screen of your mind. So it's an awakening, grand awakening, rebirth, letting your old life fall away. This also represents significant change and decisions needing to be made and to weigh those decisions. Star card, nine of pentacles and six of cups. Star card, wish granted. Your dreams and wishes are going to be fulfilled. And it's a result of the work that you've done in, in your evolution of consciousness. This dark heart comes after a very difficult period of time and offers hope. It's a period of rest and relaxation. The Six of Cups, return of someone from your past, someone that you've known in a previous life or as a child, someone who you um, love very deeply, and then love is pure and innocent, very much like the King of Cups. So the wish was for your Divine Masculine to return, and the wish is being granted. The Nine of Pentacles is that arrival in the 3D, one less than the 10. Um, so your dream is to have this reunion in the 3D, and this card represents that the fruit is ripe. Um, it's ready to drop from the branches. It's harvest. It's independence. And it is a state of, you know, enjoying life, finally arriving, completion. And um, enjoying the finer things in life. And it's a result of knowing your truth. So I'm seeing reunion for some. This is, may not resonate for everybody. Remember that this is a general reading. Final outcome. Six of Swords, moving on. Finally making a decision to move from the darkness to the light. Five of Swords. Death card. And Moon. Five of Swords, conflict and defeat. Walking away from that negative energy not engaging in arguments, not needing to win, just deciding that is it, I'm done, and moving on. 
the death card is transformation. The twins got that as a heart-centered energy. Both are going through massive change, letting go of the ego, letting go of the past life, cutting all that darkness away. That's what the death is. Releasing uh, the decay so that you can make room for the new. The moon is facing your shadow aspect. It is walking through that veil, facing your fears, out of the darkness and into the light. Okay, I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Wow, Nine of Cups again. Wish granted. Wish fulfilled, guys. So for some... Um, there is something wonderful on the horizon. So do your shadow work, release whatever lingering fears that you have, and that will open the door for the Nine of Cups. Okay, so I'm going to pull um, the side energies, which is the feminine and masculine. So four cards each. I'm going to use the Osho Zen. All right, so beginning with the feminine, her external, two of pentacles. So there is a change occurring in her external environment. A decision has been made, and that wind of change is, is um, shaping her 3D reality. And it's causing her to feel unbalanced, but you are regaining your footing. The spirit is asking you to be flexible and resilient while this change occurs. So because it's in her external environment, I'm feeling it's coming from the masculine. Um, it's the movement towards the feminine one step at a time, moment to moment, being in the now. The masculine external, five of cups, clinging to the past. Um, carrying around this box of emotions. It's um, a feeling of mourning, loss. The feminine had this in her present position for the uh, twin flame reading, I believe. So, and it's coming in in his external, so he's sensing this mourning, this loss, this longing. Um, when you have attachments to a, a situation or a person, and they don't, it doesn't work out the way it, you had it planned, then there's that sense of loss. So, um, yeah, put the box down, put a ribbon on it, and say goodbye to those emotions. See the big cup of champagne right behind you. The feminine's internal environment, integration, Remember this card, Janet? Integration girl, union. The um, twin flames coming together. Um, yeah, it's the ultimate union card. So the feminine is feeling that internally balanced and patient. She, the temperance card also represents patience. Peaceful, grounded, balanced energy. Internal environment, environment for the masculine. Nine of Wands, exhaustion. Repeated card. Nine of Wands. Um, for the Osho Zen Tarot, it talks about being in the machine and working yourself to death. Taking on too many responsibilities but being caught in the machine. He feels like he's caught by the material world. Nine is completion, giving it that final push, releasing yourself from that burden. Near future for the feminine, oh sorry, this is her hopes and fears, the two of swords. Um, this card represents the split mind, schizophrenia. 
um, feeling like you can't move forward because you're waiting for de decision to be made. So Spirit is asking you just to let go and fall through the void. Relax into the decision. Let go of control. Be free like the bird. Near future for the masculine, Ace of Cups. Brand new beginning of love. Offering that cup of love. But in the Osho Zen, it represents going with the flow, allowing the current to take you. Okay, final outcome for the feminine, King of Cups. Wow. Remember the masculine got this in, in your external environment with the Four of Wands. So in the Osho Zen, it represents healing the heart chakra. And so it's a healing energy. You are both helping each other to heal. The masculine final outcome, Eight of Pentacles, Ordinariness. Um, this is not needing to, um, make yourself shine, not, um, you know, do things out of ego, but just really enjoying the simple things in life, you know, um, taking a walk, picking flowers, just enjoying the smells of springtime. This card reminds me of Port Alberni where I live because... Um, all the trees turn pink in the summer, lilac, and it snows, this beautiful pink um, petals all over the place. It's so beautiful. I feel like I'm in a Dr. Seuss movie sometimes. But this is that feeling of it, just enjoying life. You know, not trying to make yourself special or stand out for any reasons. It's just, you know, enjoying life. This also represents positive movement forward. Um, where did this card show up? Hmm, I can't remember. But this is making your dreams a reality in the 3D and continuing to work towards that. Laying that solid foundation and feeling successful about it. All right, so now I'm going to pull two cards from the Call It Baron Reed message from the universe starting with the feminine first what additional messages do you have okay feminine stormfield and masculine. Whoa. Wizard of Awareness. Awesome. That's what I was saying in the Divine Masculine reading. You know, to be that awareness behind the tower, allowing that tower to fall. Nine. This too shall pass. An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things you've left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Pent up energy needs to be released just as a storm in nature must break for these events to occur. When the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder, not all storms are destructive. Rather, they serve nature by bringing the rain to the ground and wind to the trees enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside of you or between you and another will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't, don't be afraid to shake things up a little. Hmm. Yeah, so this is kind of reminiscent of the Ten of Wands in the Twin Flame reading. You know, feeling like there's just chaos surrounding you, but you are, um, I'm seeing that release, that grounding, that open energy 
of allowance and patience, um, even though there's still that sense of indecisiveness and mental prison, I see you moving out of it. So it's a nine again. So it's completion, allowing that tower, that destruction to occur. Wizard of Awareness. Your soul knows best. Be still and observe. Mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you. This applies to the environment within you too. If you struggle inside of yourself, stepping into an observer position gives you a new and powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to see things clearly now, unencumbered by opinion or desire. Wearing the world as a loose garment requires you to adopt a sense that nothing that happens to you is personal. People come and go, experiences evolve from one state to another in a continual shifting and change, no matter how much you want things to stay the same. The Wizard of Awareness asks you to give up your need to define or limit what you're experiencing now. All is good. Let it be, and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. And that's exactly what I was saying. That's crazy. All right. So, yeah, I hope this helped you girls. And let me know if it resonates. Much love. Peace.